in this question, we're asked to find each of the following integrals, simplifying your answer wherever possible. So starting with part i, have the integral 7x squared minus 2 over x dx. Well, the first thing to do in this question is to simplify the integral. Break it up into two separate fractions. So this could be the integral of 7x squared over x minus 2 over x dx. And you'll notice here then I can simplify this first term to give me something a little bit simpler to integrate. So cancelling a factor of x through top and bottom. So I get minus 2 over x dx. And at this point I can integrate. So integrating 7x, I get 7x raised to the power by 1 gives me 7x squared and divide by that power. So I get 7 over 2 minus 2 Integrating 1 over x or 2 over x gives me log x. And then just remember to put a constant plus c at the end. Okay, so part two. Part two is integrating a trigonometric function. So we're integrating sine of 2x over 3 minus pi. So for integrating this standard function where we have a linear function inside this bracket, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by the derivative of this inside function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do 1 divided by, dividing the derivative of this inside function, or the derivative of this is just 2 thirds, so I get 1 over 2 thirds, times integrating the outside function, positive sign integrates to minus cos. And so you leave that inside function alone now, so 2x over 3 minus pi. And so all I'm going to do now is just tidy this up so I can take the minus and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this fraction upside down so I get minus 3 over 2 cos 2x over 3 minus pi and then just remember the constant of integration. Okay then, so let's have a look at part b. Part B asks us to evaluate the definite integral between 3 and 6 of 1 over the fourth root of 5x minus 14. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite this using negative and fractional indices. So I've got 5x minus 14. We have the fourth root and it's a negative power. So I'm going to have, because it's a reciprocal it's negative and because it's the fourth root it's going to be to the power of minus a quarter dx. So now integrating. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by the derivative of this inside function. So I'm going to divide by 5, so I'm going to get 1 fifth. And then I'm going to multiply, by. Right? so now I'm going to differentiate the outside function, so I'm going to leave this inside function alone, 5x minus 14. Going to, I'm going to increase the power by 1, so minus quarter, add 4 to the numerator, so I get positive 3 quarters. And then I need to divide by this new power, so all over 3 quarters. And this is going to be evaluated between 3 and 6. So before I do that, I'm just going to tidy this up. What I need to do is I need to flip this fraction upside down and multiply by it. So I'm going to multiply this whole term instead by 4 thirds. So what I get is 4 over the 3 times the 5 gives us 15. 5x minus 14 to the power of 3 quarters. All evaluated between 3 and 6. So now I'm going to evaluate this. I'm going to take the 4 fifteenths out just so that I don't have to deal with that fraction initially. And so what I'm going to do is I'm then going to substitute in 6 and 3 into my function. So I get 5 lots of 6 minus 14 to the power of 3 quarters minus 5 lots of 3 minus 14 to the power of 3 quarters. Okay, at this point you can type this into your calculator and evaluate this in one go. And hopefully if you evaluate this correctly, you should get the answer 28 over 15. And that should uh, be that. 
Okay, so let's go back then and have a look, see how you mark this question. So initially, starting off on this question, there is a method mark for trying to and correctly rewriting this integral in terms of two terms. There is then an answer mark for getting the first term integrated correctly and an answer mark for the second term being integrated correctly. In part B, there is a method mark for correctly integrating and getting the cos 2x uh, over 3 minus pi. And finally, there is an answer mark if you get, actually I should make that a little bit clearer, let's not put it there, there is an answer mark if you've correctly got that the coefficient of this is minus 3 over 2. Okay, uh, now just a note here with regards to C. If you've left out any of these, you will get penalised a maximum amount of one. You'll lose one mark for not in including that plus C. Okay, so part two of the question. There is a method mark for getting essentially that uh, this part in the bracket, the integration of that correct. And then there is an answer mark if you've got that we also have that one fifth as a coefficient. Finally, there is a method mark for correctly substituting in your bounds into the definite integral. And finally, there is an answer mark for getting the correct answer, 28 over 15. Okay, well, I hope the solution all made sense and that you was able to follow how to mark it.